Hi Access Friends, Siron from Project Access Plus. Welcome to my channel. Kung isa sa mga work mo ay related to employees filing system, ang video na ito ay para sa iyo. Sa video na ito, isishare ko ang application na ginawa ko sa Microsoft Access na ang file name ay HR Management Filing System and Onboarding Checklist. Tara na! Open mo ang application gamit ang right click. Then, navigate mo ang file name na HR Management Filing System. Katulad nito. Using drop-down list, select Ronel as a username. At itype ang password na 1234 to log in katulad nito going forward pwedeng palitan ang username at password gamit ang table katulad nito Sa dashboard na ito, automatic binibilang ng database ang kasalukuyang active member of employees. So, click natin ang button na ito to navigate to landing page. Katulad nito. Sa landing page, makikita ang profile picture, pangalan, joining date is status, link folders, at ang onboarding checklist ng bawat newly hired employee. Katulad nito. Going, going to right side, makikita mo ang company policies checklist. Na ito yung mga ka policies under ng company checklist. Per values, Business ethics, confidentiality, SIM card usage, sexual harassment, substance abuse, vehicle safety, data privacy. Compete agreement, non-disclosure agreement, at employment contract followed by agreements equipment at ang huli ay training using this checklist makikita dito ang things that need to be done for onboarding orientation so ano po ang onboarding orientation Ito ang first activity binibigay sa newly hired employee for company introduction and orientation. During this orientation po, a series of PowerPoint and video presentation ibibigay related to company history, company profile, or values, occupational health, safety, and other related policies. Type mo lang ang name ng newly hired employee 
at ang joining date. Katulad nito. Upload ang profile picture ng empleyado. Similar to this. Then, click mo ang file button to open the file folder to save all files. Katulad ng national ID, driving license, passport, at visa copy. Previous training certificates, and all related files to employees. Katulad nito. Lagyan ng tick mark ang bawat checklist kung tapos na or kompleto na itong naipresenta at napirmahan ang mga onboarding papers ng bagong empleyado. Katulad nito. Similar steps. Lagyan ng tick mark kung, ang, kung tapos na pinirmahan ang employment contracts non-disclosure agreement at non-compete agreement for equipment checklist lagyan ng tick mark ang mga ito kung ang empleyado ay nabigyan na ng laptop cellphone SIM PPE at keys i-type naman ang NA or non-applicable kung hindi applicable for training checklist, do similar steps po. Lagyan lang ng, uh, lagyan ng tick mark kung tapos na ang ipliyado sa training na ito. In many cases, mas nauna ang training ng newly hired employee bago ang onboarding process. Going forward, navigate mo ang mouse pointer going all the way to the left. At click mo ang ID number to open the history form ng bawat empleyado. Katulad nito. In this form, magkikita mo ang join type. Arrival date. Contract sign date. Next renewal date. Probation period. Basic salary, promotion, at marami pang iba. Gawin mo ito to update information. Katulad nito. Navigate mo ang mouse pointer going up and click back button. Click mo ang file button next to back button to open the file folder. Click ang
contact directory. Katulad nito. To select at type ang contact numbers to update the form. Katulad nito. To print the copy, click mo lang ang file select. Print, then print preview. Hit print. Then close window after printing pop. So last. To export record to Excel format, click ang export button and press OK to save the file. Katulad nito. This is the end of the tutorial at sana nakatulang video na ito sa'yo. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for the new uploaded videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and bye for now.